family in South Korea. There are currently 49,039,986 people living in South Korea. The average monthly household income in South Korea is 4,077,000 won. Upper middle class, social and economic elites, old middle class, shopkeepers, small business proprietors, self-employed professionals, and self-employed craftsmen, new middle class, civil servants, white collar workers, professionals with specialized training, rural lower class, farmers, urban lower class, industrial workers. In South Korea, 31.6% of people are Christian, 24.2% of people are Buddhist, 0.9% are other or unknown, and 43.3% have no religion. Legal age of marriage. If the man and woman are both over 18, they need their parents' permission to marry. If they are both over 20, they may marry freely. Average age of marriage, according to the Korean National Statistical Office, 31.6 for men and 28.7 for women. The average number of children is 1.25. The average age of childbearing is 30.3. The cost to raise a child is 262 million won to raise a child from birth to graduation from university. The birth rate has continuously been going down. It's estimated that if it doesn't begin to rise from the current 1.19 children per woman, South Koreans will go extinct by 2750. It's illegal and punishable by up to two years in jail, but is increasingly common. 79% of married men and 15.5% of married women in their 30s and 40s have admitted to infidelity. The fact that a large number of married couples rarely have sex may be a contributing factor to this. Infidelity is also often romanticized in the media, especially in dramas. Conceptually, many South Koreans tend to believe that as long as the husband and wife are fulfilling their duties, then cheating is more of a rebellious fantasy fulfillment and less of an absolute moral betrayal like it's viewed in the US. The divorce rate is the 8th highest in the world. One in three married couples in South Korea will get divorced. The Korean civil law allows two kinds of divorce, uncontested and contested. The grounds for divorce are adultery, malicious desertion, abuse by the spouse or by the spouse's lineal descendants and descendants, if the spouse is missing and is unknown if they are dead or alive for a period of at least three years. Homosexuality is a largely a taboo subject in South Korea. You rarely see openly gay couples since conservative groups have been dominant. However, South Korean society is becoming gradually more accepting. In 2007, a poll found that only 18% of South Koreans believe that gay people and gay marriage should be accepted in society. In 2013, the same poll was run again and the percentage had gone up 20%. Gay representation in media has also increased, and there are several openly gay South Korean celebrities. Article 31 of the Korean Human Rights Committee law states that no individual is to be discriminated against on the basis of his or her sexual orientation. Article 92 of the Military Penal Code defines same-sex relations as reciprocal rape and is punishable by up to one year in prison. This policy is currently being challenged but courts have yet to make a decision. Gay marriage or any other form of legal union for gay couples is legally recognized. Although interracial relationships are becoming slowly more accepted, especially among the younger generation, there are still many opposed to them. This is mainly due to wishing to preserve ancestry and culture. This is especially common in the older generations. Those applying for a resident by marriage visa must pass the government-approved Korean language proficiency exam and provide proof of an income of more than 14.8 million won in the past year. Couples are allowed to opt out of the language requirement if they can prove that they are able to communicate in a different tongue or if they have children. 
There were 43,121 international marriages between Koreans and non-Koreans in 2005, up 21.6% from a year earlier. This was mostly Korean men marrying women of different Asian ethnicities. Interfaith marriage isn't controversial in South Korea. There was some conflict between certain religious groups that might, however, play a part in marriage decisions. Interfaith marriage is legally recognized. Cohabitation has become increasingly common. There has also been a rise of children born out of wedlock. In 2010, the NSO found that 53.3% of people aged 15 to 24 agreed with the statement that men and women can live together even if they are not married. Monogamy is the most common form of marriage in South Korea. Polygamy is not currently legal. Arranged marriages in which the parents have full control over who their children marry is no longer prevalent. A popular form of arranged marriage in South Korea is when the couple's parents meet and discuss whether they think their children should marry. However, it is ultimately up to the couple they are to marry. Matchmakers who compare two people's lineage and social status to see if they are compatible are also popular. Women once sound homeless complete legal equality with men. That changed in the Chosen Dynasty. Women were expected to remain almost exclusively at home to raise the children and keep the house. They were expected to be very submissive to their husbands. Men were the ones that went out to work and made money, and were thus the masters of the house. Today, more and more South Korean women are entering the workforce and taking on a more equal status in the family as their husbands. They're still paid considerably less than men, and they're much less likely to be hired than men, due to employers worrying that their home duties will interfere with them being a good employee. Single-parent families are nearly as common as two-parent families. In divorce cases, men are the ones that usually obtain automatic custody of the children, especially if it's a son. Single mothers in South Korea face intense discrimination, seen as something very shameful. Women who become single mothers are often fired from their jobs. The first IVF baby born in South Korea was in 1985. Since then, assistant reproductive technology has made great strides in the country, although it is not the norm. 152 embryo developing centers have been certified as of June 2012. 